China's dam building in Tibet may be the reason for blackening of the Siang River in Arunachal Pradesh. The state government fears livelihood will be lost as the river gets further polluted. Here's a report. For years, the Siang River has been a lifeline in the northeastern state of Arunachal Pradesh in India. But in the last two months, the river has been turning black and muddy at several places, raising alarm bells. Over the weekend, State Chief Minister Pema Khandu inspected the river and described the situation as serious. The same day, a report in China's state-run Global Times declared that since Arunachal was a part of China, there was no question of Beijing polluting its own river. But the fear in Arunachal is that China plans to divert water from the Siang to Xinjiang province. सरकार से भी कहेंगे, एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स मिनिस्ट्री से भी कहेंगे, या वाटर रिसोर्स से भी कहेंगे कि आप चीन से आप इसका बेहतर वार्ता करिए, इसके बात कीजिए, और इस जिस प्रकार से ये हमारा नदी को उन्होंने गंदा कर दिया, ये सिर्फ यहाँ नहीं, बल्कि पूरा वहाँ से गेलिंग से ये शुरू किया है। the Siang originates in China and flows for 1,600 kilometers through southern Tibet before entering India. The river flows through Arunachal Pradesh for about 230 kilometers, reaching Pasighat, and then joins the Lohit and the Dibang rivers about 30 kilometers downstream to form the Brahmaputra in Assam. Brahmaputra waters have been a bone of contention between India and China for over a decade. The key issue between the two Asian giants has been Beijing's various dam projects on the Yarlung Sangpo, which is how the Brahmaputra is known in Tibet. Since 2010, China has built five major dams over the Yalung Sangpo in Tibet. The building of dams has also made monsoon flooding a real threat in northeast India. There is also a geopolitical angle. China believes that building a dam on the Brahmaputra helps it assert claim over Arunachal Pradesh. China recently refused to share hydrological data with India during the two-month-long military standoff at Dokla. The government needs to take it up with the Chinese authorities, unless it already has, and ask them what exactly the problem is. But it has to be addressed. It's something that directly affects um, the lives and livelihoods of millions and millions of people. Those who live along the banks of the Siang River say it is no longer fit for drinking. Lab results of samples of Siang waters have confirmed high turbidity, 400 times higher than the permissible limit for drinking water. Apart from impacting drinking water supplies and the livelihood of fishermen along the river, the ecological fallout of the polluted waters is already evident. Migratory birds at the Daying Ering Memorial Wildlife Sanctuary, which is sandwiched between the Siang River and one of its tributaries, have started leaving early. Several animals at the sanctuary have reported to have fallen sick and died after drinking from the Siang. It's not clear what India can do since China has refused to submit itself to international conventions on equitable sharing of water resources. More than one billion people are dependent on the water from ten rivers that originate in Tibet. But there are no treaties about how this water should be shared. The result is Advantage China. Your report, Beyond.